guys, it's Emma from I Create Crafts, and today we'll be making tie-dye shirts and scrunchies. anything white then you need a fork to get your powder in you can do your powder in however you want but I like using a fork then you need rubber bands to put it around your twisted clothing or whatever you're gonna do to do tie-dye so now we're just making our patterns and putting the rubber bands on tie-dye will stain anything so we're using garbage bags to put on the counter so that it doesn't get stained Next step is to soak your t-shirt or whatever you're tie-dyeing into cold water. And you can squeeze the water out really, really well. You can or you don't? You have to. Then you're supposed to have like a water can, but you really don't have to. You could just use this and pour it on, but it saves a lot of it if you do it this way. And there, that's it. Less water makes it darker, more water makes it lighter. So if you fill it up to the top, it'll be way lighter, but with less water, it'll be more darker if you do more dye. Right here, we're just adding the tie-dye to the water. Now we're gonna start dyeing it. Here we are adding the colors to our shirts. Here is where it gets fun. You can try to create a pattern or just randomly pour the colors on. These bottles are good to use because you can pour the color where you want it to go. The best part will be seeing what our designs look like after they dry. You never know what they will look like while they are balled up. We just did shirts, now we're gonna do scrunchies. And we all have four each. I wanna do mine matching with my shirt. We're gonna finish up the other scrunchies and t-shirts and then we'll show you guys how they turned out. 